Some absolute screamers were taken on the weekend, Rog, and it is one of the best years for Mark of the Year that I can remember in a very, very long time. Uh, two massive hangs. Cody Waitman on Max Gorn. Max Gorn seems to be a bit of a poster boy for the stepladder these days. And also Isaac Heaney taking an absolute screamer. Both of them, I could see winning it, but it now makes it a bit of a four or five horse race. It's now those two marks in and amongst Jack Rewalt's Shy Boltons and Tim O'Brien. So I was just wondering where you see the mark of the year and if you could narrow it down to a final two or three, um, what have you got it? Well, when Tom De Koning's mark isn't even close to winning mark of the round, you know that we're in a, a special round of marking. And yep. I think this is all, this is catch up. I think this is a bit of lag from last season where the mark <laughs> of the year was Sam Walsh, who, don't get me wrong, courageous mark going back. But I don't think, it wasn't quite Jonathan Brown and it wasn't quite Nick Grewalt. So I don't think it would got enough points in the courage category to win mark of the year. And it certainly wasn't as spectacular as a Nick Nat flying over the pack. So I think we are due, due a massive year year of marking and um my the mark that stands out to me most from the year and i think when i'm 30 40 years from now the one that will stand out is the jack rewalt mark just because it's something that i'd never seen before um yep. running back with the flight managing to get a bit of air time uh and the knees up turn the body and take the mark um you know degree of difficulty i think that was probably the hardest i think if you put Every single player in the league in the exact same position that each of the five marks you just discussed, uh, you just mentioned, uh, put them in those positions and mm-hmm. see uh, which mark the most amount of players can hit. Um, I reckon Jack Rewald would be the mark where the least mm-hmm. amount of the players end up taking that mark, if that makes sense. I think yeah. it had the highest degree of difficulty and I'd never seen it before. So that's my personal favourite. Do you see it a bit differently? Do you like more the classic sit on the shoulders, arms extended type operation? I do enjoy those sort of hangers better, but for me, Jack Rewalt's is mark of the year by far. Like running back in, back with the flight in the wet, and then the hanger. We've never seen anything like it, and I think, I think it's not even close. Um, I think Isaac Heaney's probably the best hanger out of them all. Like he, he's done this before. He won mark of the year over Jesse Hogan, but he flies over the top and tunnels himself and gets like second lift, and he's taken a few of those in his career. So. I reckon the best hanger out of them all is Isaac Heaney. And I reckon a close third is probably between Bolton and Waitman. I think Waitman's was unbelievable for the ride he got. It wasn't as hot. Well, potentially was as high because Max Gorn's tall, but he didn't quite get on Gorn's shoulder, sort of got on his um, on his sort of elbow, got hooked into his elbow and got an extra ride. But yeah, I, I think Jack Rewald is probably the winner at the minute for mine as well. Yeah, it is funny when you have a Heaney who flies so spectacularly and falls over the pack. It's like when, if you if you stopped the Mark of the Year video at the moment the ball makes contact with the hands and that's the end of the mark, I feel like it would be a lot different story than what it is now, which almost accounts for the, the spectacular fall after the fact. You know, I feel like uh, maybe a more a more balanced player could perhaps land on their feet afterwards and it wouldn't look quite <laughs> quite as spectacular. But when you see him tumble over the front, it looks like they're throwing caution to the wind. They're putting their body on the line. It does look a lot better. And I'm, you know, I, I fall for it as well. Whenever I say that, I tend to think it's a bit better mark too. But Well, well that's bit- probably why I think Bolton's isn't absolutely at the echelon because he got the height. Like when you see that photo of him over Blitzarves, who's at least 200 centimetres, he is like a foot and a half higher than Mark Blitzarves, full flight. But when you watch the video of Bolton's, he sort of gets up and then like a cat just lands in the goal square and it doesn't look as spectacular. But that mark at the time was unbelievable. But it's just funny how the sort of goalposts have been moved a little bit with the rest of the marks for the season. 